What's up everyone, back for another beer review, and today I'll be reviewing yet another beer from the other half brewing company, and they're out of both Brooklyn and Rochester, New York. And this is their Darkness Descends, the coffee and maple variant. So this is an imperial stout that is brewed with coffee and maple, comes in at 8.4% alcohol by volume. No IBUs listed in the time of review. This can is just over three weeks old, and I wanna give a huge thanks and shout out to a good friend of mine and viewer of the channel, Dan, for hooking me up with this one. We actually met up at Other Half and the Mortalis Brewing Company about two weeks ago, and Dan threw me a bunch of different beers, including some other half beers from recent releases that I wasn't able to grab, and this was one of them. They actually have a vanilla variant, too, uh, that uh, I was unable to grab, and I don't think Dan had that one either, but if I had to choose between coffee and maple or vanilla, I would go with coffee and maple, because I much prefer those when it comes to uh, stout. So, Anyway, thanks again, Dan. I do appreciate it. So yeah, Imperial Stout, Coffee Maple, sign me up. Let's crack it open, get in glass. This has been out of the fridge for over an hour. Uh, so we're at prime drinking temperature, I hope. Oh yeah, it's looking like motor oil. Not really, it's a little bit lighter. Um, as I'm pouring, it has more of like a dark brown look to it, as opposed to like a straight up, um, you know, like a straight up motor oil color. It was pouring out like motor oil, the thickness, but not the color. So yeah, that has a really deep, dark brown look to it. On camera, it's gonna be pitch black. It had about a finger of a mocha colored um, creamy head that uh, has dissipated to a thin film right now. But yeah, it looked it looked awesome. And there's legs for days on this one, despite being only 8.4%. Nice, let's get, a, let's get a nose. That smells awesome. It's like breakfast in a glass. It's like having a cup of coffee with maple on your uh, pancakes or waffles or whatever. Pretty nice. A lot of sweet dark chocolate too, like a Hershey special dark sweetness as opposed to like just a generic dark chocolate has a sweeter kick to it. A lot of maple and if it, it smells like authentic maple. This does not smell like table syrup. It smells like uh, somewhat refined, like real maple syrup. It has more sweetness than an unrefined, like not as sweet. It definitely has a big sweetness to it. Could be from obviously the malt itself, just, you know, big 8.4% imperial stout. The coffee is prevalent as well. Big roasted coffee notes, a little bit of like the, a dried fruit component to this one. Also, uh, roasted malts in general in, in association with the coffee. You can, I can tell there's roasted malts, but also coffee here, which I rarely am able to do. A little bit of caramel toffee thing too. Very sweet. This this smells like it's gonna be sweet, not cloying, but definitely leaning way towards the sweeter side of things than anything else. But it does smell pretty damn good, honestly. Yeah, let's get into it. Cheers, everybody. Thanks again, Dan. Wow. That mouthfeel at 8.4% is fucking insane. So is the body. Wow. That's like maple syrup. Holy shit. That is full body. That, that is straight up full bodied. I don't think, let me go back. I don't think. Yeah, that's super, that, that's straight full body. This is not a bit thin, Paul over at PA Brutus. I don't think I've had a body on an 8.4% beer as thick as this. This is chewy almost. It's almost like maple syrup consistency as far as the body is concerned. Holy Christ. I, I don't think I've ever had a beer sub 10% that has a body like this. That's crazy. The mouthfeel, it's undercarbed. Um, there, there is some carbonation, but it's definitely undercarbed. This is like low to moderate carbonation, which I think is nice for this beer specifically because I want it to not have a lot of carbonation. It is soft, it's smooth, it's crazy creamy, very slick on the palate, oil. Um, there's like an oily type of sensation as well. This drinks like, if I was doing this blind, I shit you not, if I was doing this blind, I'd guess like 11, 12%. Not from the alcohol, because I'm getting no alcohol in the palate, a little bit of warming in the chest, but in the palate, no alcohol. That fruit fly back after like two weeks? Come on, buddy. I'm grabbing it air, because I'm not gonna get the fruit fly that way. Um, yeah, the, the body and mouth feels freaking bonkers. And like I said, if I was doing this blind, I would guess 11, 12%, but not the alcohol is just a little bit warming in the chest and the stomach, but not on the palate. This is one of the best body mouth feel subs. This is probably the best body and mouth feel I've had sub 10% Imperial Stout ever. Hands down. The taste is pretty damn nice too. Uh, that sweet dark chocolate is kind of the prevailing uh, note in, in the um, on the palate and the taste. Then it kind of mid palate hits you with the coffee roast, hits you with the maple syrup, more of a refined, sweeter maple syrup. 
There's like hints of vanilla, hints of caramel and toffee, um, a little bit of roasted malt too, touch of dried dark fruit, like a, uh, like a sweet dark cherry. As it finishes, it does finish sweet. But like I said in the like I said in the nose, it, it's not cloying. It's just sweet. There's a slight dryness um, and a very slight bitterness to this one, more of like a coffee bitterness or just like a generic bitterness on the palate. But it does it does have sweeter uh, vibes overall to it. That's just a damn tasty beer. Uh, honestly, I based on the taste of this, if you like coffee or you like maple and you like those in your imperial stout and you want a big thick chewy imperial stout this would be your jam for me i think the flavors are really nice i think if i if i just forgot about the body and mouthfeel i would probably give this like a low 4.25 like a 4.2 out of 5 but that body and that mouthfeel deserves to bump this up a quarter rating without question so i'm going to give darkness descends the coffee and maple variant from other half uh I'm going to, Jesus, I'm going to give that a low 4.5 out of 5. I'm going to go 4.45 out of 5. Not quite to the 4.5 level. If this had better flavors, this would be 4.75 all day. This body mouthfeel to me, I just, I can't get over it. I just, it's, it's like maple syrup. Yeah, it's like maple syrup. It's delicious. It's a delicious beer. If you like coffee and maple imperial stouts, you should like this. Uh, so yeah, anyway, price and availability. Price on this, even though Dan gave it to me, uh, I'm pretty sure it was $20 a four pack. So $5 for an 8.4% Imperial Stout um, with coffee and maple that this has this kind of body and mouthfeel. I pay $5 a can every single day for this. And availability, this was brewery only, Rochester or Brooklyn. But you can, and I don't want to mention this in every other half review, but you know, a lot of people won't watch every other half review. So I like to mention it, but they do mobile can releases uh, throughout New York State. And they also have been getting their kegs out to places in Western New York upstate and you know they've had their their kegs available on draft and whatnot around new york city for for a long time but now in western new york i i've seen this is actually on tap as i'm reviewing this at um brood and bottle in lewiston new york they have it and you can get i think you can get crawlers of it and growlers and whatnot so if you live in the area and you miss out on cans just check your local uh, bottle shop like brood and bottle in lewiston uh, aurora brew works and east aurora places like that do get this on tap and also craft beer bars in the area so if you're like oh man i couldn't can't, can't make it out to rochester east bloomfield uh to you know check out one of their releases maybe it'll show up here in the western area and you can give it a go but anyway yeah 4.45 out of 5 for darkness descends the coffee maple variant awesome beer and uh yeah i'm gonna have fun drinking the rest of this i just can't get over this body mouth y'all i'm kind of kind of shocked but thanks again to dan for hooking me up with this one if you've had this one before let me know what you think about it. if you've had the vanilla one or both of these i, I would be i'd appreciate it if you guys let me know uh which one you prefer uh, prefer between the two i didn't get a chance to try the vanilla one but i i think it'd be hard pressed for the vanilla one to beat this one just based on my uh, preference to coffee and maple over vanilla but who knows maybe i would love it anyway thanks again to the next one cheers